Hi friends, welcome to Greda, India's largest live learning platform. So, in this video, I am going to give what are the important topics in design, drawing and safety and what type of preparation strategy, what type of strategy it can able to lead to score a very good score in the ESC prelims examinations. Now, before moving on to it, I will give you a brief info regarding me. This is Balaji Gupta Tanguturi, having 18 plus years experience in teaching and 9 plus years experience in GATE and other competitive exams training. I did my undergraduation from JNTUH and postgraduation from IITM, Industrial Engineering, Engineering Mechanics, Fluid Mechanics, Drawing. These are the subjects I am handling for various competitive examinations. I was mentored more than 30,000 aspirants for different competitive examinations. Now, so in this video, I am going to give the importance of design, drawing and safety, basic principles of design, drawing and safety and what all are the various elements are going to be considered in this particular subject and where we have to concentrate more. So our main aim is to score a more marks in a short duration which can able to get more marks with a less remembrance and with a uh, where the boundaries are fixed so in such fashion we have to know it that is most important in the preparation wise there so here i am going to list out what are the important elements in design first then drawing afterwards we will discuss the safety elements so in design of the element, first of all, we have to consider what type of loads are acting. So due to this application of the loads, what is going to happen to the material? So stresses are going to be developed. So what type of stresses it is? It depends on the force. So that's why whenever a member is subjected with tensile force so if a object is this if it is going to subject it to a load which is away from the body then it is considered as a tensile force and once if a compressive force is going to act on an object so the force is towards the body and perpendicular to it these two will consider as normal forces so once these forces are acting on it the stresses are induced in the members due to that there will be a change in the geometry. So up to what level they can able to bear the load. So this is one of the important element here because we got the questions from this particular area previously and we can able to expect the questions on this area also. And next one is torsion that is related to if it is a shaft. If you are going to apply a bending movement over it you are twisting it you are going to apply the twist so in this case what happened here if you observe here if you observe all of you so I am going to give you a brief info so it is going to be a compression this is tension if you are going to apply parallel to the surface this is the surface you are going to apply the parallel to the surface it will cause the shaft um, torsion on the shaft along with that along with that there will be a shear also there will be a shear force is also act on it this is the tangential forces so what once if it is going to ha act on the member what it is going to happen to the material up to what load it can able to bear it all these elements will discuss in this particular design of uh, uh, design of various elements okay good Next one is design of springs. So whenever there is a um, sudden loads are acting or otherwise if you want to store some energy then what type of um, element is required that is nothing but which can able to store the energy in the form of changing the uh, shape that is a strain energy. So that related questions we will discuss in the design of spring. Similarly if you consider in order to design any of the element we our main aim is to transfer the power from one place to another place then what all are the elements we are going to consider for transferring depending upon the avail power available machine and required machine if depending upon the positions of them and alignment of them 
we are going to have various transmission modes. Among them, uh, most frequently we are going to go get the question from belts and chain drives. Belt drives and chain drives. These are the important elements in design point of UDO. And next one is next one is drawing elements because this one you are already come across in um, first year undergraduation. So here whatever we learned in the undergraduation is how to represent an object, how to draw an object. But most of the times we we won't concentrate much on the concepts behind it. Like take a simple example. Majority of you are familiar with familiar with concentric circle method or arc and arcs of circles method. But what is the basic principle involved in it? What is the basic principle involved in it? That type of questions we can able to expect here. And you know the various other curves and when we are going to get which curve and what is the application of it such fashion they are going to get in the examination in this. So first of all we have to know what are the various drawing instruments and what is the advantage of one over the other and what is the silent features of those instruments especially drawing sheet. We can able to get we can able to form so many questions the scope is much present in the uh, drawing sheet. So try to concentrate more on it. Next dimensional system dimensioning system. So how we have to give the dimension. So once you have object is like this, we should not give the dimensions inside. We have to bring it outside. So to bring it outside, what is the procedure we have to follow? How we can able to bring the dimension outside the diagram. So after bringing it outside, what are the various methods we are going to use? Whether we are going to use, um, whether it is a aligned system or unidirectional system. Two systems are there. The silent features of them also we have to know. And most important dear, that is engineering curves. We can we are we got so many questions from it, and there is a scope of forming many questions from this area, because you are familiar with conics. Only in undergraduation, conics and cycloids and involutes, but apart from that, we can able to get the question from rowlets. That is going to be broader area of cycloidal curves and involute. And one more thing, we know only cycloids, but what is a trochoid? And the trochoids are going to give which shape? All these things we have to come across in this one. And we are not familiar with spirals and helix in majority of the universities because they are uh, they are not included but we are getting the questions from it so that is why you have to know what is the basic characters of them that is most important next types of projection sir all of you are familiar with multi-view projection that is first angle projection and isometric projection but uh, we are not aware of oblique projection like cabinet cavalier axonometric diametric trimetric so these are so many types of projections are there you have to know what are the basic characters means for which condition which object we are going to get it and once we are having so many projections which project which type of projection will be used in the application for which application for on one particular application which one we are going to use it that also we have to know so those things we'll discuss in the types of projection next so if in your undergraduation majority of the time you will concentrate on points lines planes and solids but dear here possibility of getting the questions are little bit less as compared with the others we can able to form the question for this imagination is most important so how we have to imagine because we can't able to carry the planes solids with you then how we can able to analyze it i will bring a session to you how we have to analyze it with the help of whatever it is available with you in the examination so in that fashion i am going to give and another one is these are the applications of um, drawing that is section of solids that is in order to know the inner features of an object we are going to use section of solids this is also important here 
by sectioning one particular object which shape we are going to get it how many sides we can able to get if it is a prism or pyramid okay and next one is development if you observe the hollow objects like trunk boxes water tankers so all these things are comes under developing a hollow solid from a surface from a surface so here what are the various methods are going to be there like parallel line method is there radial line method approximation method triangulation method so when we are going to use which method that you have to know and silent features of them like if a cone base diameter is something high axis height is uh, some uh, some value they give then what uh, the development is what shape it is and that uh, shape what are the characters it has means what is the radius of it what is the angle of it all these elements are important in development of surfaces or solids next one is isometric projection just now i said in order to convey the ideas from one person to another person we are going to use different ways to represent an object so among them one of the most important is isometric iso in isometric how we can able to represent an object and what all are the various points we have to remember means once it is a object having a length of 12 how much it will appear in isometry such things you have to learn i will give and next one is perspective so here the terminology is important here so here whatever we are used the terminology used in multi view is not same in perspective so what is the difference and what are the various surfaces and various lines we are considering in perspective is also important we will discuss those things okay now next one is safety point of view so if you observe whenever you are working on an industry if the people are not going to owner is not going to take care of you then there is a huge loss to the employee so and it is going to leads the problem to the society also because we won't work on it if you are going to work on it it is going to give a negative impact on the society also that is why government is already formed some for uh, organizations is going to run on this particular thing that is occupational health and safety ohs what all are the industries will come under this and what type of safety precautions they are going to give all these things we can able to come across in this so what are the standards we are using and what are the safety elements we are going to consider in construction manufacturing mining and other industries so we are going to discuss all these elements in the beautiful manner in the coming youtube channel dear that is i am giving the schedule so here on 18th june i am going to discuss the element which are important elements in introduction to the drawing and dimensioning system and on 19th this is uh, remember dear most important we can able to expect more number of questions from conic sections and engineering curves this is also one of the most important dear so here i am going to explain on all these days 10 to 15 minutes so it depends on your opinion i can able to um, plan this particular session 10 to 15 minutes is concepts and then it is going to be uh, 30 to 40 minutes i am going to concentrate on quiz from the quiz from the quiz also i will explain some of the concepts you can able to get the concepts i will explain the concepts from quiz also and similarly on 20th i am going to discuss projection of points and lines along with classification of projection then projection of planes and solids i will discuss on 23rd it is also important here because so far we did only one we got one question but how many ways we can able to get it i am going to discuss on the day next one is section of solids and these three two classes also most important here because we got the questions and there is a possibility of getting the some more questions and my dear friends if you consider design of elements for mechanical people it is easy for other branch people up to what level they have to concentrate i am going to bring the questions that particular level only okay there also i will give the concept what we have to learn uh, know in this element i will explain to you dear next one is on the last day i am going to conduct on importance of safety 
okay with this i am going to explain all of you are aware of it 18th june is july is going to be the esc prelims general studies examination you are already aware of it the timings and dates are also released by the um, upbsc so uh, time is very less and it is precious my dear friends don't waste a single minute and once if you are knowing the concepts in order to improve your skills in order to sharpen in order to complete the problems in a short duration better to attend the quizzes that is going to be most important in order to help our uh, students who are preparing for esc prelims examination we are bringing this free courses on youtube channel a that is every day at 11:30 am don't miss this my dear friends get maximum from this particular course thank you very much we will meet in the course my dear friends